Hey, what's going on, guys? It's the Dat Launch Star guy, and I'm here with another random soft modding video. And this time, we are going to be soft modding the Nintendo DSi with the high SCFW custom firmware um, after nine years of waiting. And thanks to the high SCFW, we can officially soft mod our DSi's and run homebrew in a much more pleasant way instead of using that homebrew launcher web app crap that we had to struggle with before or using our forge which just run in DS mode and this originates from an exploit that was discovered within the Flipnote Studio application so presently according to what I know you have to have Flipnote Studio installed on your DSi for this to work at all and but luckily this DSi already has Flipnote Studio installed on it so uh, we are good to go with that. All you really need for this um, to work is an SD card, um, preferably a not a non-SDHC card that is two gigabytes or less, kind of like what we did for the Wii U's Super Smash Brothers Brawl exploit. If you have subscribed to my YouTube channel since 2015 or so, in case you don't remember, I did a soft modding video um, previously for the Wii U's virtual Wii mode. Um, and, but now we're going to be doing the DSi because um, according to my research I couldn't really find any uh, videos that, no offense, clearly explain the process uh, in my opinion so um, that's why I'm making this video here so I hope you enjoy and I will um, go ahead and go onto the uh, computer and start putting the necessary files on our SD card Okay, the first thing that you want to do is go insert your SD card into your computer and make sure you back up everything on the SD card if you have anything on here. I already did this off camera but um, and it's already empty but um, if you have any data if you used the SD card previously in your DSi you want to make sure you transferred everything. So. Um, but after you transferred everything, you want to make sure it is formatted as FAT32 or else the exploit won't work. I learned this the hard way before and because I have done it with my my own DSi, I'm just blending this one. You want to make sure it's formatted as FAT32 and I'll demonstrate that for you. You want to right click on it and click format and then you want to click on um, FAT32 right in the file system drop down menu. and. Yeah, uh, click on default allocation size and you can label it. I'll just label it DSI. And you can do a quick format, that'll be fine. And then you want to format the card. Um, just click yes if that pops up. Alright, so our format is complete. Now we are going to down, um, go to this website. I'll provide a link to this site in the description. First we are going to install something called Unlaunch which is basically a, um, like it says right here, it's a DSi boot code exploit which allows you to install CF, um, high CFW, a DSi custom firmware to your console. So it's basically a custom bootloader for the DSi. So first thing we want to do is download all of these. So you want to um, save these to your um, DSi folder. It doesn't really matter where you put them, but I like to put them in a, its own folder. But basically, you just want to download all of these. And for this one, you just click on High Menu Tard BZ2. Don't worry, this will work on Windows machines as well. Excuse me, um, the file extension probably was extracted on a, um, compressed on a Linux machine. And this is the exploit um, org upon, however you pronounce it. Upon, I don't know, <laughs> but whatever. Excuse that. Um, this is the exploit that we used, that we basically used to um, um, for Flipnote Studio. You want to download that as well and put that in your pro um, folder again. And you want to also download this. So what we want to do is copy the contents of the org pawn zip file or extract the contents to the root of the SD card just like that. And after that is completed, you want to copy uh, the firmware tooled NDS file directly to the root of the SD card as well. Um, 
and this one's a little bit trickier but not, but also not too bad um, and also for this one uh, in case um, you probably already have this already but if you don't you need to have an archiving program such as 7-zip to be able to open these files within Windows um, but 7-zip is the one I least recommend you could use Rinrar as well but I do use 7-zip does it really matter okay so what we basically have to do is open the archive like that double click on this if you're using 7-zip and then double click on that and then you want to extract this boot.nds file to the root of the S or or you could just extract it all it doesn't really matter that's what I always did so after that completed so um, now we will have to um, copy our unlaunch.dsi file directly to the root of the SD card as well okay so after this file has been copied you want to right click and rename it and change this DSI extension to NDS just like that or else the menu um, that menu um, HB menu thing that we put on there um, would not recognize it or let you execute it so after you have all those files on there make sure you eject it you don't want any file corruption happening here you want to make sure you eject it always when you're dealing with this so after you copied all those files to your SD card you want to insert them into your DSI right on the side right here And you also want to make sure that the Right Protect tab is disabled like it is right here. It's also pretty important before you insert it into your DSi. I uh, just want to make sure I get it in there. Alright, it's in there. Alright, so now we can turn on our DSi. Or DSi XL, doesn't really matter. And then you want to launch Flipnote Studio. Once that opens, you want to, um, one thing that's really important is make sure, um, uh, where is it? Advanced Tools is turned on. That is very important, or else this exploit won't work. All right, so you want to click on View Flipnote SD card once that loads it takes a little bit sometimes you want to click on select folder user and then you want to click on org opon pwn have you pronounce that and then you will see two flip notes up here the one that you want to click on is the um, the first one right here with the red half and then you want to click on edit and you might want to press up because you don't want to draw on this by accident press up click on the film icon right here okay once that pops up you want to click copy and then go back and then exit out of this flip note, that flip note now you want to click on the second one and this is where things get a little bit tricky you want to click edit press up again click on the film button again and then press right twice until a new frame is created. Hopefully you can see that on camera. Hopefully my exposure isn't too high. I'll even zoom in just to show you a little bit better. So you want to make sure that there's a new frame right here and you want to paste this exactly at least in the US or USA or if you have a USA console you want to copy it 122 times exactly. If you have a European region DSI you want to copy it exactly two times and for the Japanese region you want to copy it just once but we're gonna but since this is a USA DSI we want to copy it exactly 122 times so we're gonna do that now
So after you have pasted it 122 times, you want to click erase and then paste. And then you should see this appear on your DS. So what you want to do is back out of that and then you want to run firmware tool dot NDS. And then once that appears, I'll have to zoom out to show you. You want to um, select with the D-pad, press down and select backup DSI NAND and press A. And this will take a few minutes. And do not turn it off while this is happening or remove the SD card, obviously. And it's also recommended to leave it plugged in while this is happening. Um, so it's basically making, um, what this is basically doing is backing up the system's NAND or internal storage onto the SD card as an image. And we will need that for when we um, install the custom firmware. So I will be back once this is finished. So once that process finishes, you want to use the D-pad and click on exit right here and press A. Once it goes back to this screen, you want to hold down the power button and turn off the DS. After that, you want to take out the SD card and put it back into your computer. Okay, once you inserted the SD card in your computer, you want to copy and make a backup of this file that says firmware 8C56C um, C5EE whatever. It probably will vary depending on which DS you, um, uh, for you, but this is what it says for me. So you basically, when you go into it, you'll see this NAND.bin file like we mentioned in the, in the piece of homebrew that we just executed using the exploit to back up our NAND. So basically this is the NAND of the DS. So basically, um, sorry if I keep repeating myself, you want, you just want to um, copy this to your project folder or whatever. Make sure you put it in a safe place that you remember where it is because you will need it later. And after that finishes, you want to eject your SD card yet again, still making sure you have the unlaunch file on there and make sure it's renamed to NDS like we did before. You want you want to always make sure you eject it because it's better be safe than sorry. So after you so now we are going to go back to the DS and install unlaunch. So after we copied our NAND files to the computer in our project folder, we want to put back in our SD card yet again and do the same exploit that we did before using Flipnote Studio. You want to press A to go back a directory and you want to click on unlaunch.nds this time. Once you get to this screen, you want to click on where it says install now by using the d-pad once again. You want to go down and click on install now and press A. You'll see all this stuff come up and it will say installation complete and once it does, press A again and then click on power down. And to make sure this has worked successfully, um, you want to turn on your DS to make sure you see it launch. You should see this menu once it comes up. So if you do, shut off your DS and we will continue to the next step. After we remove our SD card, of course. So what you want to do now is open up that website again that I put, it, um, put into the video description and you want to scroll all the way down to continue to in installing PySCFW, this link right here. You want to click on that and scroll down a little bit 
and you will see a download link for Hiya CFW Helper and OSF Mount. We will need both of these. So you want to download these to our um, project folder and you want to make sure um, you download the one for your architecture. So if you have a 32-bit Windows installation you want to do the 32-bit one or if you have a 64-bit you have want to do the 64-bit one. But since I have 64-bit we are going with the 64-bit one and that same applies with the OSF helper. Download it to a safe directory in your project folder or whatever I'm putting it in this project folder. Click on this link that says OSF um, mount and you, and you want to select the one for your architecture and in my case it's 64-bit. If you're doing 32 you want to do 32-bit you want to install the OSF mount by double clicking on it. And you want to follow through the setup wizard. I already did this so I'm going to cancel it for now. But you want to make sure that's installed on your computer. After you um, installed that, you want to extract the contents of this. I'll just use 7-zip to do so. You could use the, the Windows one as well, but I use the 7-zip one. Okay, so you want to go into here and then um, double click on this high CFW helper executable right here. What you want to do is click on this button right here that says dot 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 and navigate to your NAND backup that we copied earlier, which is in our DSI project folder and then in this folder here and you want to click on nan.bin so after you, um, you loaded that you just want to click start I guess I can select my SD card here this is kinda new <laughs> so I'm kinda learning in the process too okay I guess I could just select that too select our SD card so we basically have to wait for this to finish and I'll come right back alright so after it says done eject your SD card insert it into your DSI at least that's what it says for me you want to click close and quit and as it said you want to eject your SD card once you ejected it pull it out and stick it into your DSI once again after putting back in your SD card power it up once again and we should see our unlaunch menu again you want to click on options click on where it says no button and click on high CFW right there press A and then you want to click on save and exit turn off our DS and you will see this screen come up you can choose the options you want turn on the splash screen if you want um, which I to toggle these just press A um, I'll enable the splash screen whatever you want I'll just leave these two enabled so and after you've done that just press start and you should see this on your DS just give it a few minutes it takes a little bit longer to load since it's loading from the SD card. So once it does load, and you see these, and if um, try launching the Twilight menu, and if you are able to launch this, congratulations, you have successfully soft modded your DSi after nine years of waiting for the effective exploit to be released. So if you have any questions regarding how to use the soft mod or any installation questions you have feel free to comment below on this video and I'll try my best to answer those questions for you um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and as always thanks for watching and see you guys soon